Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. This is going to be a general choose a pile reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, so take what does and leave what doesn't. So this choose a pile is going to be about the new moon in Aquarius. So what are your messages with this new moon? Okay, um, be able to choose from pile one to four. Okay, this reading will be time stamped in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. So guys, you can choose more than one power if you want to. Okay. Maybe you're just drawn to a particular number. Okay. I'll take the one that fell there. All right. Okay, so let's go. All right. So we're going to start with part one. Welcome part one. Okay. Like I said, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave what doesn't. I've uploaded the Zodiac general readings. Um, there's choose a par readings there. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well, where I do live extended readings. Okay. So let's have a look. Your new moon messages in Aquarius. Okay. So we have conclusions are within reach part one. Okay. So anything's unresolved. Some loose ends will be tied up, okay? So part one, messages for this new Aquarius moon. Oh, oh, I caught it. Yes, we've got appreciation and temples path. Yeah, so I feel like for you guys, it's a long time coming with something, okay? I think you've been single for a long time. You've just been on this spiritual journey of enlightenment, of healing, self-reflection. Okay, really thinking about, you know, your place in the universe, what you want to do. There's a lot of independence here. So I definitely feel like you guys have been working towards a particular goal. All right, what messages do we have for part one? And we have success, yes. Success is within reach, guys, okay? Got, ooh, and we got beauty. You guys are really appreciating yourself. This is a lot of self-love here. Okay, there's a lot of self-worth, all right? You definitely feel like you're achieving something with what you're doing. There's, there's a lot of, I feel like you guys are creating value in your life and in other people's lives as well. Yeah, see, we got this strength. I definitely feel like with part one, you with, you've withdrawn from a connection, all right? Or oh, this could just be people in general, okay? And you were just like, you know, what do I want to achieve? Who do I want to be? You know, you've had so much strength for, like, maybe you're a mother, so you're strong for your children, you're strong for your friends, family, but you're like, okay, what do I actually want to do? In order to do this, I'm going to have to kind of remove myself, you know, even maybe sacrificing things, giving up going out, socializing, you know, everyone be like, no one ain't seen you. <laughs> right, we've got Leo energy here, Capricorn, Taurus energy. All right, part one. What are your messages for this new moon in Aquarius? You know, your strength is really to be admired, I'm hearing, okay? Because a lot of you have been in a bit of pain and you still managed to do this, okay? Some of you have recently lost a parent or a grandparent. Okay, and that kind of just sort of changed your perception and view on things. All right, for others of you, your parents are going through a separation right now. There's a divorce happening. Oh. Yeah, I mean, for some of you, I feel like you might even be the carer to your parents or something like that. There's just so much stuff, <laughs> like there's a lot of drama going on. There's a lot of lies, you're not being told the truth in a lot of things here. So I definitely feel like with part one, you know, there's a lot of truth that's gonna be coming out. That's, you know, what's gonna be revealed, I feel. Hold on. Part one, new moon in Aquarius. You know, some of you find that you, you know, like I was saying, you guys cutting off certain connections and distancing yourself. The next might be some family members. Maybe that's the next part for you. You're realizing that now. Like, you know, you can't, 
heal your parents as much as you want to. But they have their own trauma. They've got their own story, you know. They've got their own battles. So we've got love here. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness. Yeah, this is what they really want for you. Really do a lot of self-love. Yeah, see, look, karmic relationships. There's a lot of them here that you've been sort of just, you know, seeing their way out. Yeah, wedding rings. It could be a, definitely like a divorce around you in the family. Could more than likely be your parents. Yeah, some of you have been turning to the wrong people for, you know, support or just some affection. You kind of start new sort of karmic cycles with them. So you guys are going to be giving that up. All right, you're seeing the light in all of that. And I definitely feel like, part one, there's some information coming to you about somebody. Okay, it's an ex. And I, I feel like it is going to be quite shocking for you. I really feel like there's going to be a little bit more pain. All right, to come. When it comes to this. This connection, right, hold on, part one. A lot of you are going to be finding a lot of independence, okay? Like I said, even away from your parents, your family. All right, part one. You mean in Aquarius messages, please? Got Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Got Ace of Wands. Got Four of Wands. Page of Wands. The Lovers. Your Gemini energy here. Three of Wands. <laughs> Ace of Swords. And Ace of Cups. So yeah, you know what, for some of you as well, all right, I definitely feel like you you guys have got at least three people watching you, okay, who want a relationship with you or they just want to make sure that you always stay single. Like if they check back in, they just want to know that you're still available because then in their mind they can still have you, even if that's not even a possibility, like you don't feel the same. Okay, you have a lot of that going on there, okay. But you definitely do have somebody, I feel like this person wants to literally take you away though, you know, almost like you might even have to move. You know, for some of you, this is going to be this shocking news that's coming towards you is that this person is saying, look, I want to be with you. But in order for us to be together, you know, you have to come here. Like we've got to be here. There's no other way we can do it. OK, so let's see. Part one. So some of you are going to have to find this strength, okay, and be brave <laughs> to literally move somewhere completely different with this person. Okay, by yourself, independent from your family and everybody. We've got improving health. So you guys, you're probably looking after yourselves. If you're not, they're encouraging you to do so. Okay, work out, eat, drink healthier, everything in moderation and answer help from others. All right, if you're struggling with something, let people know. All right, because like I said, I feel like you lot are the strong ones for everyone. You take care of everybody. Oh, no power one. It's getting um it's getting dramatic, I feel like. I wanna give you something else. What is it? Um, I don't know, maybe I should give you some oh no. This is what I was. Okay, part one. New moon in Aquarius. Guys, for some of you, if this is not an, an actual move, which I think most of you it is, but if it's not, you might have to sacrifice your work. There's something here that y'all gonna have to sacrifice. All right, pile one. 
Falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during an emotional, very emotional experience. Children or childhood, the return of people or romances from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light uh, than how they really occurred. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way, a good person or company to work for. Let's get one more. Positive changes are on the way. A welcome, a welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. Okay. Say no more. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Read it, Charlotte. I'll give you, all, I'll give you one of these. I'll give you one of these. We'll just end with a beautiful message. Part one, new moon in Aquarius. And we have practice compassion, see things from a fresh perspective. Oh Lord, <laughs> someone's coming back brand new, okay? And that's what they were talking about, remembering events differently from how they happen. You know, you're in a different space now, okay? You are in a more enlightened space as we were saying. So they're saying like, turn on that, that, that light for compassion for this person, okay? Be supportive. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Catch me on Instagram. I appreciate you, and I love you so much. Take care. Bye. All right, so now we're going to move on to pile two. Welcome. So this is your new moon in Aquarius messages. Okay, so pile two, you've got meditate and contemplate. That is new moon in Pisces. Hmm. Okay, let's go here. Okay, so... You know, maybe you're just kind of, I, I feel like you're just going round in circles. That's what it kind of feels like. Pretty much the same, the same thoughts, the same questions, the same amount of fear. <laughs> but we've got door to spirit. Okay, there's a reason why, you know, you're like, oh, I should be doing this or I should, you know, start this business. Oh, but how could I even make that happen right now? It's like door to spirit has said, look. You can hear us now. We've been trying to communicate with you for years, love. All right. <laughs> now follow us. All right. We've got something that's divinely guided for you. Okay. That is just for you. We've got the sun. Yes. So some of you guys, you know, you're in your creative bag. Okay. Or you're, you're in the arts, music, media, whatever it is. Yeah. So they're saying, look, just as much as they're saying, yes, you, you could do this as a career. Maybe you're thinking about things like, you know, just too many things at once. Maybe you should just focus on one thing. Why don't you just draw that one picture today, you know, and put it to one side. OK, what else are you inspired to do? OK, you want to remodel that thing over there? OK, go do that. OK, you got like five things now. OK, great. We're at the end of the week. Perfect. All right. Let's start an Instagram. Let's just post those five things. OK, so they kind of just want you to just calm down. <laughs> All right. Don't, you know, get carried away and just. I don't know. Again, it's just going round and round and round. I feel like I'm struggling to get my words out to you right now. <laughs> There's just so much going on. All right, we've got the thinking man here. Whoop. And we've got caring connections. Oh. Yeah, so I definitely think that there's someone here who's encouraging you to be at your best, okay? Maybe you've connected with someone who does, you know, what you do or what you want to do. All right, and this person's always encouraging you and trying to bring out that creative side of you saying, look, you can make money this way, you can make money that way. But maybe you just don't see it as a possibility. Got Leo energy here, have I said that already? But we got success. Okay, they want you to follow this. All right, they want you to lay these foundations. Ah, and look at that oath. They want you to be committed to this. This is going to be, bring so much joy, happiness, money into your life as well. Vision. Look at that. Yes. See, because you do have a vision. That's what I'm saying. This is why you, you vision yourself, you know, receiving awards for things you've done or dressing Rihanna or whatever it is, you know, <laughs> it could be anything. 
but you have this vision, you know that you're chosen, you're elected up there to do something. Okay, and nobody can do it the way you can do it. All right, uh, okay. Pile two, new moon in Aquarius. So they just need you to kind of declutter your mind right now. That's why they're saying meditate and contemplate. All right, hold that vision, keep dreaming. All right, ooh, pile two. Oh, okay, go on, pile two. Yeah, four of cups. You know, some of you guys are sitting back and watching other people do certain things and you're getting upset, you know, like, why am I, you know, why am I not doing it? Some of you are not necessarily in a relationship that is quite caring, okay? For some of you, you're pining over somebody, so you're not putting that energy. That's why the daughter spirit is here and they're saying, look, pour this energy into your art, okay? Into your joy, into the things that make you happy. Yeah, we've got Page of Swords. Again, look, you guys are just sort of watching. There's a lot of envy, I think. Look at that, Five of Wands as well, yeah. There's a lot of envy coming out. All right, you might be feeling at odds with people lately, okay? Or you're defending yourself a lot because you're not, you don't feel like you're on top of your game, okay? So you're getting defensive with people, all right? But we've got this Nine of Cups. Yeah, we've got this Queen of Swords energy. It's because, it's because there's a relationship, I feel like, that's overshadowing this. We've got the high priestess here. Yeah, it's like you're leaving all your ideas up in your head. You're very secretive about everything. <laughs> you know, you're guarding everything. Yeah, see, look, we've got the handman. So some people are getting really frustrated with you. All right. And they're like, why aren't you putting your work out? Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Da -da -da -da. But you guys kind of needed this break and pause, all right, to look at things from a different, fresh perspective, okay, and to really release this connection here that is really weighing you down. It's almost like you're more concentrating on your next argument with this person as opposed to your next design, you know, or whatever, your next song, or getting in the booth, or whatever it is. So we got this um, temperance energy here as well. Some of you are going out a little bit too much or have drinking too much, okay? So they're just saying, look, have this balance. All right, there's a lot of self-love and self-care that is needed here. There's a lot of patience that you need with yourself. Okay, you're very frustrated that your healing is taking time. Okay, you just can't rush this. We've got the full here. You could be Aries or Sagittarius here too. All right, so it's really time to just take that leap of faith. Okay, they want your youthful, childlike spirit to come back because that's best when you're creating and you're making money. All right. For those of you who have that supportive partner, okay, it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you know, they're only at odds with you because they want you to be your best. Okay. For some of them, they've invested money in you in the past and, you know, you haven't sort of followed through with your ideas and things like that, but they really want you to go out there and do stuff. Okay. They're always researching things for you. You know, it's, it's just because they love you and they almost feel like they could partner up with you and do something. Okay, so you guys, I feel like this veil of depression is kind of going to lift off of you, all right? And you're going to release your boundaries and your walls a little bit. Okay, for some of you, you're going to take a class, okay, to just kind of refresh, give you a, you know, put that pep, get excited about creating and doing your thing again, you know? So there's definitely a course that's coming up, all right? So they're saying go for it, all right? This is to help you. Oh, sorry, you're here. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, pile two. New moon in Aquarius. You know, these caring connections, they're going to come, but I feel like they're going to come once you're in your light. You know, you're working in your highest good, you're creating, you're out there, you're going to events, you're doing this for your business. You know, that's why Spirit's got this door open. They're like, there's a connection here that is waiting for you. All right, there's good news, there's money to be made. Some of you definitely have someone around you who really does think about money a lot, but not necessarily in a bad way. They just know how to make it. And so they're trying to educate you. <laughs> but we've got mature women here. Some of you kind of feel like you're a little bit stuck in your ways. All right. And you don't trust people easily as well. Oh, I'll start a fire now. Yes, yeah, so we've got message of concern.
I don't know, for some of you, again, I'm picking up parents or parents could have been going through a divorce or something. One of them, I feel like, wants to give you something or they want to help you buy your own property, like give you a mortgage or something like that. Yeah, and again here, they're saying take care of your health. All right. Maybe you guys are sinking to a little, a little low here. They're saying, look, be mindful of that. All right. And da, 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 da. I don't know, I'm kind of good with your pile, really. Pile two. Moon in Aquarius. Messages. Unfound in fear, focusing on worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. Don't be stressing now, don't be up at night. Walk away from dishonest associations, realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness, something that's not worth the effort. Seek out intellectual solution to your problem, the need to act quickly and decisively, sudden or unexpected changes. And then we've got a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams. Great progress being made. Yeah, so this is the beauty about taking a class and stuff. It's getting back into meeting like-minded people, you know, that you can have your arty conversations with that, you know, none of your other friends are going to care about. All right, but just, you know, creating, you know, just being in that energy, being in that space, I think, you know, would do you guys a lot of good. Okay. Part two, new moon in Aquarius. A year from now, okay? So there's something I guess you guys probably need to do, probably need to study. Maybe you guys don't really wanna do it, all right? Or you, you're like putting in the work at the beginning of something is, yeah, it's difficult, it's trying, you need a lot of patience, okay? But they're saying a year from now, and look how quick a year goes. Okay, if you start this course now, a year from now, there you go. You know, you're going to be more ahead, further atop, sorry, more ahead and on top of your game, okay? Pile two, new moon in Aquarius, what you got? Embrace your emotions, allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Like it's okay, you know, and put them into your drive, okay? In your passion, in your art, in your hobbies, whatever it is, whatever that thing is that's bringing you joy, put it right there. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can also book me for a personal reading. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. That's all that orb. Orbs are everywhere in these videos the last couple of weeks. I'm telling you, they're like, ning, ning, ning. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Love you. Anyway, so we're going to move on to pile three. Hi, pile three. So these are your new moon in Aquarius messages. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Okay, take what does and leave what doesn't. Feel free to choose another pile if you wish. All right, so pile three, we have nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, so maybe you're like, this is never going to happen. Okay. They're like, uh-uh, don't say that. Oh, all tied up, yeah. I think some of you guys have just decided that this is the situation. This is going to be what it's going to be. Okay, um... You feel like you just can't be removed from it. You're just weighed down by it. You can't release yourself, even though you're kind of not in it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, I don't know, I feel like you're in separation. Yes, we've got yin and yang. This could definitely be coming into a twin, all right? And this is why you feel trapped to this person's energy, okay? Because this is your twin. They're the other half of your soul. So you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm joking, sorry. <laughs> Let me be nice. It's not that you're not going anywhere. That's all I got, seriously. <laughs> you kind of emotionally and mentally, it's hard, I think. All right, because you feel like the other part of you is missing. We've got hostilities. Yeah, we've got happy family. And it's like you just want your souls, your two souls to come together and be joined. All right, there's a lot of secrets surrounding you guys' relationship here. All right, 
I feel like you don't talk about it a lot to a lot of people because it stirs up a lot of emotions in you. For some of you, this is your child's father. If not, you just dream about being a happy family with this person. This is somebody that you wear your heart on your sleeve with. You can't help it. You just want to hand it over to them. <laughs> All right, oh, part three. Let's have a look. New moon in Aquarius. Oh, yeah, see, we got reminder. You just can't get over this person. No matter where you go, I feel like you're getting a lot of signs, you know, or you're just being reminded of them constantly. Okay, and I think you guys are starting to lose your minds. But we got fulfillment, we got Ace of Cups, we've got this new love coming in, all right? There's things you don't know. As I say that, the moon comes out. Okay, there's a lot being hidden, but it's for a reason, okay? This person, you know, they, they do have a lot of pride, but I feel like they are quite loyal to you and this connection, even if they are in an entanglement, because that's what I kind of see them in, all right? There is this they feel the same way about you. I feel like you've, all, you've stood by them through some difficult times in their life. You know, they might have been there for some of yours, but I feel like you've really been sort of like that support network for them, you know. Yes, you've been good to them. All right, but there's, there's some communication that's coming in. You know, some of you have been extremely loyal to this person. Like you don't, you haven't seen anybody, dated anybody else. Like you literally have been waiting for this person. Okay, but you guys have just been going for a really rocky time, I think. More emotionally than anything else. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and we've got Ace of Cups again. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and we got Four of Swords. So some of you guys, you know, you've just kind of been healing. You've been in that healing mode. All right, for some of you, it's triggered your love for tarot. Okay, you've been picking up your tarot cards. <laughs> All right, or you're just really in tune with this spiritual world now. Like things are happening, going on in the house and you're like, what's going on? Did I just see something run past me? You know, but we've got with the Wheel of Fortune, we've got Six of Cups, this person's coming around. All right, they are. They're coming around. Yeah, we've got Three of Pentacles. I definitely feel like this person has a proposal for you. Could be dealing with a Taurus as well. Taurus, Pisces. Yeah. Some of you are just in the beginning stages of tarot, okay? Um, but it's like you're at the moon again, guys. The moon again. All right. Wow. I just feel like so much is going on up there. You know, there's so many things that are being aligned for this connection. You guys have a serious purpose. You know, maybe it's you're supposed to have a child. And that child's supposed to be like, as I said, if I had another child, I wonder if it would be the next Michael Jackson. <laughs> All right, but you know, whatever. They, they're gonna be here, they're gonna be great. Okay, they're gonna be great. Yeah, so look, with this Ten of Swords here, I just feel like the the pain associated with this relationship, this connection, this separation is, is about to be over, okay? I don't think there's going to be any more daggers flying at you when it comes to this relationship or this connection anymore, okay? There's an end to this. Yeah, we've got the Empress. Someone's finally standing up and being a man. Tony Braxton, just be a man about it. Okay, and saying, look, this is the person I want. This is who I want to be with. Could be Aries, because we've, we've got the Emperor here. Yeah, this person's no longer keeping it to themselves. All right, there's things that they want to tell you. They are drinking quite a bit right now as well. But they realize their situation, it's not going to work. Doesn't matter how much they fix it, how much money they put into it. It, it really just doesn't matter. They're moving on. Okay, they're packing up their car and they're out. Yeah, they're no longer going to be in this handman position. <laughs> All right, they see their life from a different perspective now. And they say they see you, you know, you've grown, you've matured. Some of you have gone on to have kids, you know, or, or start this business or whatever. All right, power three. New moon in Aquarius.
Yeah, you know, some of you, maybe you're still angry. Some of you are still angry and you're just really not wanting to deal with it, okay? You'd rather invest your time in building your own stability, okay? It's like you've really been through a test of endurance in every sense of the word. Yeah, but you are waiting to hear from this person. You just go back and forth. You love them, but no matter what's happening, you guys are supposed to be together in some capacity, okay? Even if it's for a moment. Mm, it's just some of you are just remembering this betrayal, but this person just watches you, okay? It's like you look over your shoulder, they're going to be there. Yes, part three, but we are ascending, okay? I definitely feel like you guys are just entering a new cycle in life of wealth. I feel like there's just this, I don't know why I'm, because what I can see, I can see a lot of money. I see a lot of money, part three. Part three, new moon in Aquarius messages. What do we have? What did I say? A lot of money and then sudden wealth. Yeah. You know, there's just something that's... There's so many things that are hidden from you right now. And I don't know why. Well, you know what? Sometimes we're not supposed to, right? Things are just aligning. All these moons are coming out, okay? They're, they're where they're supposed to be. This is going to be a really great month for you, okay? So don't take your foot off the gas, okay? For the for the month of February especially. All right? Pedal to the metal, y'all. Yeah, someone wants to invest in you. Someone wants you to come travel, okay? And it's a bit concerning because you're like, oh my God, this is so sudden. How could this happen? Is this me? But we've got great fortune, all right? And toil and labor. Someone loves the way you work. And someone's saying, look, we can fit you in here. We need someone who does like something like this. We were looking or we were thinking about this concept. And here you are. Come, come abroad. I said come abroad. Come abroad and come abroad. Okay. All right, pile three. <laughs> the magician. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. Yes, you can. Very powerful, guys. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. Oh, I told you. It's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizon. Let your creativity take flight. And then we have balance. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. This is so nice. I'm so happy for you guys. All right, pile three, new moon in Aquarius. Peaceful resolution. There is gonna be peace with this person, okay? Whether you want them or not, there's gonna be peace. And we've got in the near, near future, your life is about to change in the near future. I'm not even, it's, it's not even little, your life is about to change. You know who you are. Look, and what court was looking at me, don't stop. I'm telling you, this month, especially, don't stop. Don't stop. And... Um, do, 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 give you one of these. And then we're going to move on, my love, please. Power three. New moon in Aquarius. Two love offers, Aquarius, I'm seeing for you. Two love offers. One obvious, because it's your ex. The other one, not so much. Wow. And we've got true love. This love is once in a lifetime. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, you guys, just continue to love who you are, all right? They're saying the more you love yourself, okay, the more of that energy you're putting out and the more of it you're getting back. Like you're just radiating this love and this beauty. Okay, it's this inner beauty. So keep doing it, okay? It's beautiful. All right, pal three, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, okay? Or you can book me for a personal reading. You can contact me in the description box below. Take care, guys. Bye. Okay, so now we're going to move on to pal four. Okay, girl, pal four. So this is your new moon in Aquarius messages, okay? So part four, we've got the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is a full moon in Capricorn. Okay. So part four, 
let's see. If this doesn't resonate with you, feel free to choose another pile, okay? Don't forget to watch the zodiacs that I've posted, okay? Some nice choose a pile readings last week. Okay, let's go pile four. What are your messages for the new moon in Aquarius? We got patience, wow. Yeah. Divine timing. All right, I feel like you lot have had to learn patience. You haven't really had a choice, okay? All you've been able to do is work hard in the dark. Yeah, because you don't know if this is going to be successful or not. Well, you know, deep, deep, deep down. But you don't know, no, you know? <laughs> but the end of a tough cycle is approaching, okay? Your patience. Well, they say patience is a virtue. I said that to a guy the other day. He went, no, it ain't. <laughs> well, you're going to learn today. That's what I said. <laughs> okay. So we got seventh chakra, Uriel. Here. Mm. I definitely feel like you guys are being crowned, okay, for using your creativity, for going against the grain, for not being like everybody else. All right. And and in a way, you, you, you didn't really share this. You know, you didn't want people to have their, their comments and ideas and input. And oh, you know, my mate Bobby does that. And Bob does it like this. <laughs> I mean, you just didn't want none of that. You're like, I know what I'm doing, I know what path I'm on, and I'm good. Yes. Guys, you are so creative, daughter spirit. Okay, you're very intuitive, even with your work. Okay, you're ahead of your time. It's almost like as well, you haven't been afraid to sort of let your emotions or your creativity go where it needs to go. You're just doing it. You're just doing you. And you're really trying to not hold on to a lot of your baggage that's been weighing you down lately. I feel like you've been really doing the best you can. Yes, we've got movement. We are moving forward now, my loves, all right? From this little moment of pause, it was to sort of set the wheels in motion, okay? Right, so we've got deceit and we've got message. So we've got this Capricorn energy here, okay? Someone's coming in. They want to drop you a message. This is someone you definitely released, okay? <laughs> Some of you, you got a tattoo of this person or you got matching tattoos or you got their name or something. Yeah, some of you could be Virgo, but this is like this forbidden energy. All right, maybe some of you have really been trying to release this connection and you've been struggling to do so, okay? It could be that too. Some of you are reading messages, all right, that this person is sending to others, okay, and making you kind of feel like, hmm, these are things you've said to me or whatever. There's just some truth here. I definitely feel like someone's trying to confuse you as well. I'm getting a bit of the, you know, shaggy, it wasn't me kind of vibe. <laughs> Even though you, you saw it, <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah, we got nine of pentacles, five of wands, queen of swords. I definitely feel like a lot of you are fighting for your independence, okay? You're really trying to stay single. This person is definitely trying to pull you back a lot. Okay, they're always trying to say things to you, communicate with you, but you know this person is still like, you know, seeing other people and whatever. This person saves up things that you guys have argued about in the past and then they throw it back in your face. Yeah, this person likes to step out. You know, they take your, your cussing and then they go back out and do it again. You know, it's almost like this person's run out of things to say. They know, like, they can't just say anything to you anymore. They seem to have a lot of conflict at work as well coming up. All right, power four. Got Taurus energy here. Yes, yeah, so I think a lot of you have just been working extremely hard. You want to be the best at what you want to be. Some of you have worked late. You've worked nights. Okay, because you're really just trying to avoid this person as well. All right. And I definitely feel like there's a promotion or something here coming through for you guys. The student becomes the teacher. Yes. 
Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. All right, some of you were purposefully trying to get out of this situation anyway. You knew it was just like a matter of time. Okay. Some of you, it's almost like, you know, you're packing light in that respect because... <laughs> I don't know, this person's not... I don't know. I'm seeing like that they'll even take back the things they bought you and stuff like that. It's fine, boo. You're going to buy your own. All right. There's a lot of love around you. So they're just asking you to look up and acknowledge that. Okay. Surround yourself with people who love you, who only pour good, loving thoughts and words into you. Yeah. You could be someone who's suffering with addictions. Okay. This person could be a sex addict. Yeah, I think you're tired of people kind of love bombing you and then not really showing you how they really feel. Like always just kind of trying to play games. You're over it. You're saying goodbye to narcissists. Yep, you got self-love here. All right, if there's any keepsakes you have from these exes, they're saying, look, get them out, get them out. If you guys are dealing with a twin flame, they're just not really ready yet, okay? But you're recognizing that. All right, you're about to elevate somewhere, right? <laughs> Up on a whole new level, okay? You're about to leave these exes in the dust. And they don't see it coming. Oh. <laughs> Poor them. And da -da 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 -da. Where am I going? Okay, part four. New moon in Aquarius for my part four. Yeah, see, we got messages. Wow, commitment, marriage. Mm. Got a wealthy man here. Lovers, yes. Thief, wow. Yeah, you know, see, for some of you, this person was all married and didn't even tell you, like, you had no idea. All right, or they just lived. This whole nother double life. Some of you have been supporting someone in prison, okay? And you've been expecting them to come back and be with you. And that has not happened. All right, but for, yeah. Oh, not happening. Yeah, for others of you, you're going to hear that this person's choosing a new start elsewhere. But it's like, do you know what, guys? Stay walking forward. You're going to be all right. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. You're going to see the truth in this situation for sure. And you're, you're going to be rich, okay? Or you're going to be making money. You're going to be good. All right? There's new excitement coming in for you, okay? So there's transformative energy. All right. Part four. New moon in Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like your spirit guys, they're really trying to help you out because they know what it's taken for you to get to this point and to still kind of have to go for a little bit more rubbish with this one here. You know, they're just like, okay, look, we're going to give you this too. So don't worry. Okay, the desire for more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do, being compensated for your creative talents. A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now, an unexpected supporter of your cause. Immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage, a passionate relationship. Yes, see? Guys, they're sending you in some love, okay? And some goodness. Well, got to deal with this first. All right, it's all right. It'll be okay. All right, pile four. New moon. Oh, in Aquarius. If you believe. All right, release your negative thoughts. Any negative thoughts you're happening, you're having, okay? Let's get that positivity back through and flowing. Remain positive, as I said. <laughs> Let's get that positivity back. Okay, and what was looking at me within the next few weeks? All right, guys, so, you know, hang in there. Within the next few weeks, we've got some beautiful changes coming for you guys, okay? So stay strong. 
They committed to your cause. They committed to yourself and your spiritual journey too, okay? Hope you enjoyed this reading, guys, okay? Uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can catch me on um, Instagram as well, where I do live extended readings. You can also book me for a personal reading too. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss a video when I post it. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I love you so much. Bye.